Hey, what's up, ladies and gentle tubers? I'm out in southern Utah with my friend Shan and my friend Joe. Um, we're out here, we're gonna give them some tips, like the very, very beginner tips for off-road. If you're a beginner, um, you're gonna wanna listen up. We're gonna be going over all the basics, uh, just doing some figure eights and showing you some drills that you can do so uh, you can really up your game on your uh, dual sport. All right, guys, so no matter where you're at in your riding, this drill will hone in pretty much every fundamental you need to feel comfortable standing while riding. So there are several extremely important fundamentals. Body position for acceleration and deceleration, body position in a turn, using your hand and foot controls while standing, and, and this one exercise really does it all. So while any seat time will improve your riding, minute for minute this exercise will give you the best return on skills for your time investment. Now the nicest thing about a little figure eight is that you can do this in a parking lot or your backyard or a vacant lot. Uh, really it can just be done anywhere and anytime, even you know in the dead of winter or in the middle of the night. You know, just uh, take a half hour, get out there and fire the bike up. So start out standing in the attack position with your legs slightly bent, elbows up, uh, waist comfortably bent with your head above the bars. So while doing the figure eight, when you get to the turn, lean the bike into your inside knee while balancing the weight of your body more on the outside peg. And an easy way to make your body do this is to turn your torso to the inside and stick your butt out to the outside. And it helps just to exaggerate this a little bit, especially while you're doing the figure eight, just to train your body to do it. So for more experienced riders, you can have a little bit more fun by seeing just how slow and tight you can turn the bike without touching the ground. You can even have a slow race around the figure eight with one of your buddies, and, and it's really quite challenging. <laughs> Now you might notice that you take the turn way too wide, and if that's the case, slow down by feathering the clutch, which means to hold it nearly in until you just need a little bit of momentum, then you let it out just to keep you moving forward. If you're not doing it already, this is a perfect time to practice braking and shifting with just one or two fingers. Uh, this one tip alone will open up a whole new level of control for your riding. So if you really want to focus on position while turning, you can move the obstacles closer together so your figure rate's much tighter. Uh, now in the straight between turns, practice accelerating and decelerating while standing. While accelerating, you want to put your weight forward over the bars and tank, and while decelerating, move your weight back. This keeps the bike from pulling you around and wearing you out. If you ever feel like the bike is pulling you, then you need to get that weight forward. So to get the hang of shifting while standing, practice shifting up to second gear in the straightaway, and then back down to first when you get to the turn. And while you're at it, you might as well practice using your foot brake while standing as well. So on the way out of the turn, make sure you're looking at the far obstacle and not straight down in front of you. And this will naturally train you to look ahead into the turn out on the trail, which is so important. So maybe you notice you're coming out of the turn a little wide, or maybe you just like a little bit of a challenge. So when coming out of the turn and looking at the far obstacle, put your weight forward, like way forward on the front tire, and use a lot of throttle to kick out the rear tire. And this is a great way for intermediate riders to learn how to control a slide. On your way into the turn, you know, you can hammer the rear brake with a good bike lean under you and a little bit of counter steering, and try to get that rear brake slide into the turn. And uh, when you're really feeling awesome, combine the two and do a braking slide into the turn, then a power slide out. And as you can see, you know, we're not quite there yet, but we will get there. I mean, we were really having fun today, and it's fun to practice. So to really mix it up, set your figure eight with whatever obstacles you want to master in the middle and in the turns. Uh, off cambers, hills, ruts, baby head rocks, um, like a big muddy pit, sand, um, maybe a jump or a wheelie kicker or some berms. You know, this exercise, if you want to do it over whatever, you know, is hard for you, uh, it will really force you to master whatever you want to master. That's it. Joe's giving us a great backdrop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love to y'all. Ever ride out.